Hey everybody, uh, there's been tag going around of products that people regret buying. And I wasn't tagged, but I decided that I wanted to go through the products that I regret buying. And I, my Snuggie's coming off. Yes, I am wearing my Snuggie. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. It's Saturday, and I don't think that I should have to get out of my Snuggie today, because I work every other Saturday, and I have the Saturday off, so I get to wear my Snuggie as much as I want. Anyways. The products that I regret buying, and I don't really regret a lot of products that I buy because I do watch other gurus, and especially I, I just ask Emily before I buy anything. And a couple of these products I kind of went off Emily's suggestion, and a couple of them I just bought and thought might work for me, and I just, they haven't. So I only have four products that I regret buying, which I think is pretty good for all the makeup I own. So to get started, I have the Burt's Bees Acne Solution Spot Treatment. I haven't, I don't think it works for me at all, like it ha makes no difference whether I use it or I don't, and my acne goes away at the same rate of speed, and it just hasn't really done anything. It might have even made me break out a little more because I know that like my cheeks have been more broken out than they ever have, and I don't really know what's behind that, if it's like me moving to a different climate, because my aunt told me that when she moved from North Dakota to Georgia, her skin changed a lot. But um, I know that I've been broken out. And I was broken out before I moved here because I was really stressed. But um, definitely not a fan of the Burt's Bees Acne Solution Spot Treatment. It might, If it works for you, that's awesome. It just doesn't work for me. The next thing, speaking of acne, is the Clinique's Even Better um, Makeup Foundation. And this is something that I was I saw and I was like, oh, I have acne scarring and this could probably really help to get rid of it faster because it usually goes away pretty well on its own. Um, I have fairly good skin for that and I don't really have any acne scarring, which is insanely lucky. But I just feel like it breaks me out even more and I got it before I moved to Texas. So I think in like September and I was using it and I was really liking it and I thought it got good coverage and but I just kept breaking out and breaking out. And then after like a month or so of using it, I switched back to using the L'Oreal Bare Natural Mineral Makeup. And I just instantly, it seemed like, started to clear up. And so I didn't really take it to heart. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm clearing up because I'm not as stressed. I'm clearing up because I've been really paying attention and making sure that all my makeup is gone at the end of the day. It has nothing to do with this foundation because it's from Clinique. And it's one of my more expensive foundations that I'll buy. It was 20 some dollars. Um, and so like every once in a while when I'd start clearing up, I'd go back and use it and it seemed like within a couple of days I'd be breaking out again. So I really, it hasn't worked for me and I know I recommend it as someone for acne scarring. If you're still breaking out, I don't recommend it and I, I just, I don't think I'm going to use it anymore because it just seems like I break out every time I use it. So I'm just going to stick to my mineral makeup for now and then maybe branch out to some drugstore foundations and then see where it goes from there. The next thing um, is the Wet n Wild Bronzer in Bali Bronze, I believe. Yeah. And this is just a little bit too dark for my face and a little bit too reddish, I think, if you can see that. It doesn't look too bad and it also has a lot of shimmer in it or more than I like and I'm just really happy with my NYC Sunny Bronzer so I just never use it and it's not like... Um, it's a hated product and I don't think it's good. It just doesn't look good on my skin and so I don't ever use it. And when I have a product that I really like, like NYC Sunny, I'm really, really loyal to it. And so this one just kind of gets forgotten. I'll use it every once in a while to contour my cheeks, but it's just not a good color for my skin. And the last thing is a the Hard, Cal, hard Candy Concealer Palette and Nobody's Perfect. And it has, Emily did a review on this after I bought it. It has a green, a yellow, a pink, and then a bunch of light to dark, lighter to darker um, concealers. And I think that this is the fair palette because I have fairly fair skin. Well, I asked Emily because I knew she had it, and, or I asked Tyler actually because I didn't have Emily's right cell phone number for a while. We didn't know. So it just seemed like she was ignoring all my texts and phone calls. But in reality, I was just talking someone completely random. Um, but she said, you know, it's a medium coverage. If you have anything major to cover, probably don't buy it. But I thought it was pretty, so I bought it anyways. And then she did a review, and it wasn't good. And I was like, yep, that's basically how I feel about it. 
So it has a lot of different colors, but none of them are good. I don't ever use it. It sits in my drawer and collects dust. It's probably, I'm going to venture to say, the worst concealer I've ever tried. And I don't use it. I don't recommend it. So that's the only four products that I really have that I never use, that I um, regret buying, that I just, I if they weren't in my makeup collection, I wouldn't ever notice. I hope this helps for some tips if you're looking to buy any of these things. Maybe, maybe not, but either way. Um, so I'm hopefully getting my new video camera soon, and I'll have better video quality, and I'll be able to do more tutorials and stuff. I have a bajillion ideas, and I'm really excited to get started on them. So I hope everyone had a blessed week, and that everyone is doing well and having wonderful weather. I know it was really bad in North Dakota this week, and it rained a lot here, but that's fine, because it wasn't nasty, but have a wonderful day, and be good to yourselves.